Welcome back, Seth Bling here. A few days ago I made a video about Santa's sleigh in Minecraft. And basically it was a flying machine led by Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that was made of redstone and could fly in one direction and would go in that direction uh, indefinitely. And all the redstone was self-contained. So what I've got here is a similar machine. Uh, this also can fly in a direction as far as you want. But this one actually flies in any all, all four directions. So if I stand on the black spot over here, uh, I'm going this direction. I'm going to stand on the green spot over here. I can fly over this way. Uh, gold spot over here, fly over this way. They all work. And so it's controllable by the player. And if you look, all the redstone is self-contained. Uh, so here's it's basically four platforms underneath and then some redstone and pistons and stuff up above. And if I go ahead and move the platform by a few blocks and then take a look, you can see all of the redstone has moved along with it. All these command blocks and everything. So, what's going on here? How does this work? It works on the same principle as the sleigh. Very similar principle, that is. If I break any of these blocks, you'll notice they immediately get regenerated. Uh, that's because there's a bunch of command block minecarts that are uh, running set block commands relative to themselves about five times a second. And these command block minecarts can be seen if we go ahead and punch out this block right here. You can see it for a minute. If I actually punch and right click, uh, I can see one of the set block commands. So you can see it's using relative coordinates to replace a, uh, a block relative to the command block minecarts. There's a stack here of about 300 command block minecarts, and I used slimes with a, a negative size in order to be able to get them all to stack all on top of a single activator rail. But all these command block minecarts are stacked on top of an activator rail. And so they run about five times a second, just because that's how command block minecarts behave. And they're sitting right in the middle of the contraption here. Now, you can see there's pistons pointing at the center of the contraption. There's actually four of them. If I come underneath, you can see all four. And, uh, and these pistons get activated, and they push uh, the activator rail and the, and the minecarts with it over by one block. So if, if I step on the gold section over here, it's going to create a redstone block over here, which causes the piston to get pushed, uh, or the piston to extend, and that pushes all the minecarts over by one block. And since the minecarts are constantly regenerating the entire structure, they'll just regenerate the entire structure one block over. And that's exactly what happens. Uh, if I just stand here for one second, or just on this one right here, uh, it, it you can't see it, but it, it does cause that piston to push, and it causes all the minecarts to move over, and then it regenerates the entire structure. So, uh, <laughs> I imagine if you got a couple of these things together on a single server, it would probably leg it a ton because uh, it's doing a lot of work. Uh, it's running a lot of set block commands uh, several times a second. Uh, the uh, there are yeah, like I said, there's there's 300 or so command block minecarts, one for every block in the contraption, plus a few that that set. Um, create air blocks so that this doesn't leave a big trail of blocks behind it. You can see it goes pretty fast and everything. It's pretty neat. Uh, in, in certain directions it goes faster than other other directions. Uh, in this direction it goes pretty quick. Uh, also this one, you, it goes almost as fast as I can walk. Uh, in the yellow direction it seems to go slower for some reason. I'm not really sure <laughs> why the timings work out like they do. Uh, we can see there are actually command blocks here. If I right click on this command block it's doing a test for uh, it's testing for anyone within a radius of five, and so these command blocks are actually being reset by the command block minecarts in the middle, but they're they're doing work. They're doing the test for, uh, and then if that test for is true, it activates this comparator, which activates this command block, which is what creates the redstone block over <laughs> on the other side, which um, which is what activates the piston and pushes the whole contraption over. So there's. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated, and it took quite a bit of work to get it all working right. Um, this thing would actually go through terrain if I were, to, if I were so inclined. Uh, if you'd like, you can download this map. Put this map up, up for download, and uh, it includes the command blocks over there that I pushed at the beginning of the video. I pushed a button that spawns this platform. So if you'd like, you can actually take that uh, that set of command blocks over there and copy and paste them into another world. Let's see what actually happens when I uh, ram this thing into some terrain. I don't think I'm going to be able to stand on it for very long. Yeah, um, but <laughs> it is actually 
it did actually ram into the terrain a bit. <laughs> if I uh, if I pull it out, yeah, we can see it sliced in there a little bit, <laughs> right here. It's kind of cool, uh, but it, it it's not set to create any airspace above the platform, so I would have just gotten probably knocked off. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to put to go any farther in. <laughs> Pretty cool though. So yeah, you can you can copy and paste those command blocks into another world and play around with it. Uh, this thing is definitely a lot of fun to play around with, and I think it's a pretty cool piece of technology. I'm not sure. I've I've personally never seen anyone else build anything like this. It's a uh, autonomous flying vehicle that can go in any direction. That's not to say that it doesn't exist. There's definitely a lot of stuff out there that I don't know about, but I think this is really cool and uh, definitely a very advanced use of command blocks and command block minecarts. That's about it. Thanks for watching.